Hello and welcome to Freeview. I am Aki Dapping and today we are going to look at Shopkeeper. This is the game. As you can see, the game is basically crafting items for people who want them in your shop. And so you basically see, hey, I want this item. Hey there. Some of them have like background stories, or at least in the start they have. I don't know if they have any more. If these are actually just the same people, I don't know. I don't really care. Um, so yeah, I have to craft this one, this thing for him, and I have to craft them all for that steward and I have both for that lady. And so you do that by pressing craft down here. And this is originally a Facebook game, but it's also out on the iOS and on the Google Play Store. So it's a bit of a game for everything. What was the last thing? Oh yeah, both. And you have like you have these categories down here that you can choose between. And so here you can actually have all of your items or all of the last items you have made. But you can also go through the categories and like you can make all kind of stuff. And later on you can make more stuff. So it's pretty it's pr kind of a lot to do in this game. So now I crafted this one. And so I have these options out here. One of them is discount where I would get two hearts. The hearts I can use to surcharge people. So they will pay more. So let's do this with him just to use a bit of it. There's no reason to have 20 hearts at any point. At least I don't think so. You can also try and compliment him. So there's a chance you get two. Oh, a chance that you get minus one. Let's try that. I got plus two away. How lucky. Then I can sell it to him for more than he than, than he want to give for it. Reality. Um, let's return to that screen a little later. And here you can see these are my collection of resources. And out here you have my resources. You can get more resources than this. It just requires other benches, like I get a herb bin and a steel bin, but right now I don't really need them and I don't have room for any more things in my shop. Yeah, it said 14 out of 14. So to get more room, I need to upgrade my shop with either these money coins, <laughs> just through earning money in the game. Yeah, so the game, this is what you can buy. You see the starter pack, other stuff. It seems pretty expensive to me. You have to just buy gems. Still pretty expensive, in my opinion. But yeah, you don't really. It doesn't seem like you really need to. Just need to pay to play a bit, I guess. Uh, let's also search out for this, just because I have so many hearts. Oh, he wants a dagger. Oh, a pocket knife. Sorry, I already have one, so I can just sell it straight away. I choose to give him a discount if I want to have a lot of hearts and I did craft this one for him so I can sell that. Yeah. This up here is my storage. You can actually click at it and you can see what I have already crafted, what items that I've already crafted. And these are the items that I can sell. Nobody have bought my pikes yet. Oh yeah. Another thing about the crafting system. As you can see I've mastered these, it's because I have made enough to master them. <laughs> that makes sense. And in here you can see how many I have to make of an item to get bonuses. This one is a price increase. This is a new blueprint, which means I can buy make a new item. When I do it, this is one of the newest I've gotten, so I have to make eight of these to be able to create what, sorry, what that is. So it's just basically about crafting a lot of stuff until you have all the recipes. And here you can see that I require a worker with arts and craft. I don't have any one yet. I can do that yet. And to get one, I have to go in here. I don't know who can deal with arts. Maybe that one. But that requires the marketplace to be at level 15, which we'll get into in a bit. But to get another worker, I also have to add another slot, and that is going to cost a lot of money. and requires me to be in level 18. So the further you get in the game, the slower it becomes. 
and I'm I'm now like six or seven hours into the game, even though I can craft stuff all the time and earn money, and there is kind of busy work to do all the time. But yeah, it is busy work. It feels like it really feels like busy work. Like I like I'm just doing it just to do it to earn money, and it's get gets very repetitive after a couple of hours, but I guess that's just kind of this genre of games. In here we have the, yeah, let's get started, the inn. In here I have some heroes that I can make stuff for or buy stuff for so that we get a higher score right here. And I can then, yeah, I can then go into them and see, oh, he got these items, how great. Uh, like Chico just chose him instead, and by clicking here, I can then give him this item, which I already have on, so it's not that uh, difficult to choose it. I don't know, it's not that difficult to get it at least, because I, I don't know how I got it. I'm sorry. And down here, you can see the chance of items breaking, and if they break, you can choose to repair them for these coins, or just this. This. Uh, Discard them, discard them, yeah, that's the word I look for. Right. And in here, by you know, holding the button down on an item, you can get into this shop. And for some great reason, I can't buy stuff for coins, or not coins, but for gems. We find I'm in level 15, and that's a bit irritating. So you can see somebody here is selling these gloves for 4,000. And is somebody selling gloves for less money? No, 95,000 with a high break and steel, so that's not, probably not that great of an investment. I probably wouldn't do that if I were anybody. But down here we have the quests. So I completed a quest and I failed. Well, that really sucks. So she's injured now for four hours. That sucks, really sucks. But let's recruit some people too. I don't know if I can just recruit all of them. If I can, then why not? Let's do it. Recruit all of these people. I can then send them into this place, for example. And you'll see here have a good chance of doing this. This is a bad chance, bad chance, bad chance, bad chance. He have a decent chance, bad chance. Okay chance. I guess good chance, okay chance of doing this. And this one we have a very good chance of doing. And then you press explore. And when you do this, you get these materials out here, which can be used in your shop to create more difficult stuff like, let's see, that one and this one requires that stuff. Um, yeah, and we don't have the arena where you can, f you can fight people. If I press free play, you would be able to see, oh, I can fight these, but they are all stronger than me, so I really shouldn't fight them. I actually don't know if you can see what the quest mark is. It's probably because they have some kind of ability, which you unlock. I actually don't have unlocked anyone yet, but you can see on the skills how you can unlock them. He unlocks the first skill at level six, which will give him more experience. Oh, here I've already gotten a skill, and that's pretty great. My new people are over here. Oh, and. I they're already fairly strong, but they need some time to... No, they're out on a mission, great. Uh, and so yeah, I can send more people out on a mission. I can take one to the sewers, and another one to the sewers, for example. And now my missions are filled up. And if I want more people to go on missions, I can buy another slot for 50k in level 14. So I can't do that yet. Um, I wonder if there's anything more in here. I haven't really done any of this, but I can make this probably and give it to my city to get one uh, heart favor, whatever you want to call it. And so another thing in here, oh, I have to press these to get these items. And you can see those, these are full, so if I don't use my materials rightly, I will not get any materials. You know, right now it's full, so you can't get any more materials. And you can upgrade these two. It costs 5,000 now. 
and increase the size of it apparently. That's good thing to know. You can also upgrade these things. This right here is a fusion thing. And you can see how it begins to look. In a fusion thing I can take, let's say I have two knives. I have three knives and I can fuse these together into a better quality item. Which I don't know if they can actually get better. But maybe I can. And that will then take some time. I can then I can also upgrade this workstation for let's do this one for 500 but while a uh, workstation is upgrading you can upgrade any of the other ones so you have to wait to be able to upgrade the other ones this right here is the town that i'm part of right now i've joined a town just for the fun of it and the mayor have right now chosen that this one is the one we should invest in and this one will give us more wood per hour so it's not a bad decision and you can see in here what it unlocks you will also be able to see that with other stuff like this that one will unlock a new dude this one will unlock the catacombs everything is just about unlocking and earning money and when you're part of the town you share your responsibility like if i go in here you can see how much money people have invested in it Spartooks have invested a lot of money. I've invested the second most money in this town. And that is just great to know. Spartacus Spartooks just reached level 17. Congratulations to him. And in here, you have the chat, you have the world chat, so you can ask for help in here if you want any. And people will probably respond. It looks like there's quite a lot of people on. And right here, we have the city where somebody, I think that means that one is online and this means that a thousand people is online. It's probably Spartux that's online though. This up here is my daily goal and I have to complete, I have to fill in five requests to get a blueprint. And blueprint, oh fantastic, let's collect this to see what we got out of it. Oh, we got a the same kind of knife, but it's better to do with uh, with weapons that can actually become better. It's pretty stupid of me how to do that. Uh, in here, you have what you can buy from blueprints, so you can buy these blueprints if you want, if you want to, with the blueprints. Huh. I'm wondering if there's anything else I've forgotten. Oh yeah, let's roll with this lady. This is the free spin. I got two yesterday, I don't know how they come. Probably, I could imagine they would come every day, but I don't know. Oh, I want a free spin, how great. So let's spin again. I get a bonus at five spins, so I guess that's pretty okay. Pretty much okay. Oh, 600 money, great. Probably rather have had a key. Because the quest sometimes can the quest sometimes can give you can give you chests and you don't have to open it. I sadly don't have any, but you'll be able to see right here if I had any of those. Alright. This is my this is me basically. And you can customize your person and you can see every that Oh, hang on, I can maybe be voted for, I don't know. Oh, these are the notifications and what's new. Great. Did not know that. I'm sorry. I'm not the mayor, so I can go in that option. But in here we have all of the achievements that you have to do. Not have to do, but you can do, and you can see what rewards you get from doing them. Apparently, there are, there are 180 achievements right now. I can also customize my person. I can be a male or a female. I can change my skin color. I can change my eyes, I can change everything else, and a lot of these things cost gems to be able to do. So if I want a pretty hat, I would have to spend a lot of gems on them. Oh, I actually wonder if it just chooses, uh, this changes depending on your gender. Can I get other hats out of main? It doesn't look like it. So yeah, I think this is about the game. Let's complete these 
and see if we succeeded or got anything great. We got five of those and money. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that you, after you have completed, you know, all of these screens, you have completed 15 of these or 50 of these, 10 of these, then you can go fight the boss in the area and that unlocks the next city, the next level of the thing. So right now that one I have unlocked the fourth of and that one I have unlocked it two. And when it is, the higher it is, the more resources you get out of it. That's why I almost always have 30 of these right now because I've done that way too much. And when I have screen numbers, I'm at my max. And you can of course, I actually don't know if you can increase your max in there. I just completed that one. That upgrade right there. I don't know. Maybe you can. I wouldn't know how though. Hmm. Doesn't matter. I showed you that. I showed you that. Oh, the promo ends in 22 hours. We don't care. Alright. Oh, yeah. In here, I, all right, I also have this lady who I can craft stuff for. I just can't craft any of these, so I haven't bought it. Bought it. And that basically. She leaves after 24 hours, and I have this sort of for 20 hours now. So it doesn't really matter. And you can see the heroes that are not doing anything, they're just standing around in here. There weren't really any reason for me to buy all of those. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just quickly look at a city that I found on Reddit. That is a bit bigger than this. And you can see if you can go and visit it. They have 20 people and you can see they have a castle and they have a bit more stuff. So your town can get pretty big if you want to. I can't click on any of it for some reason. It would have been nice to like see who were great in a guild, but you can't. Oh, in the city. But yeah, we are nearing the end of the video, so let's just quickly look at the options. And here you have language options and sound and music options. The music in this game sometimes comes, sometimes doesn't. It seems to be on a weird loop where it takes a break for a while. And it's like very standard music for these kind of games, just nice and quiet. Uh, this game is developed by a company called Cloudcade. And they haven't really developed any other games as far as I could find out, figure out. And they are like a mobile gaming developer which makes sense with this, and in here you have some other options. That's pretty okay. I like that you can, I can connect with my Steam account, and I like that you can choose all of these stuff, but still, it is, it is a computer game, and we want more graphical options than this. At least let us pick the resolution and stuff, and maybe let us remove these ugly black bars, I don't know. That is... At least my opinion. So yeah, this game is like, it's decent, but it's not great. My opinion is a bit, there's a bit too much basic work for me. At least to be a computer game. I can see this being pretty fun on iOS or your mobile phone or whatever you're using. Just as like a game you can play for five minutes and then let go of. Even though you can actually play it for a lot of hours straight without having to really wait but it's just not that exciting the stuff you have to do so yeah this game is decent if you are looking for a busy game just to keep you busy while traveling i guess or whatever you want to do or whatever you're waiting for or anything but it's not a great game it's just a decent game like many of the other mobile games and there's probably better mobile games out there for this kind of stuff. But that's just my opinion. Thank you for watching and bye bye.